All right. Good morning, y'all. How are Hello. you? Hello. How is everybody? Good morning. Um, it's gorgeous outside. I really need to make it outside today. That's it what is beautiful. Out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we have made it to the month of May, also known as Milestone May, because we celebrate at St. Matthew's a lot of these things called milestones. So um, today's King Street Kids Q&A is focusing on milestones and I want to start out with what, what's a milestone? So a milestone, we do, Pastor, you're right, we do mark many of them in May, but they happen all throughout the year. And the first one is birth. We mark birth as a milestone. Um, we have our little rituals at St. Matthew's. We put a, um, a rose on the font, baptismal font. Um, we also have baptismal instruction, which could and probably should happen before the baby's even born. But, you know, but when the baby, often when babies are born, uh, then we'll have baptismal instruction, which leads to baptism. Baptism is a big milestone in the church. And then from there, we go through um, parish education, where we have um, communion instruction, and we have um, we we uh, have milestones of learning along the way, and then we have catechism, which leads to confirmation or affirmation of baptism. There's another milestone. And we have a new thing in St. Matthew's we've done for a few years, <coughs> the blanket ceremony, which we'll do this Sunday for part of Graduate Sunday, when we um, we celebrate um, the baptismal promises that families have kept and. Uh, those um, active high schoolers who have, have, have paid close attention to their baptismal promises and lived those out in the church, we, we recognize them with blankets, and then we go on for the rest of the year with wed with I mean through life through journeys through weddings and ultimately funerals. Uh, funerals are a milestone as well, and they connect all the way back to the very first ones, birth and baptism. So there are milestones all along the way. There's others too, but those are some of the big ones. Yeah, marking marking some changes in life for sure. Yeah, one of the things I hope people sort of tune into it this Sunday because we have a baptism <coughs> and a blanket ceremony. They're not in the same service, but a baptism and a blanket cer uh, ceremony. I was like, Whoa, get ready for a long Sunday morning. <laughs> um, no, it's in the baptisms at eleven fifteen. The blanket ceremony is at ten, but yeah. um, the baptism we surround people with a little little tiny blanket the, the newly baptized with a little tiny blanket called a chrism and then when we get to the blanket ceremony and these um young uh adults these these youth that are leaving oh, us um we surround them with another blanket and it kind of represent there's a little bit of parallel thing going on there the blanket at baptism blanket when they when they leave to go off into the world um, and, and also when they at, you know at, at this part of life at death we also place another blanket on either the urn or the coffin as we call it a pall mm -hmm. which also reminds us of those early those blankets throughout life mm -hmm. one of the things that i do too at weddings i remove the stole my stole and i'll place it upon the shoulder shoulders of the bride and groom as not necessarily a blanket but it's another remembrance that we are embraced by these promises of baptism yeah i saw that and kind of stole that from you because i liked it <laughs> it's nice it's kind of nice i stole that from game of thrones <laughs> i did not so with milestones um we have so many of them we love a good celebration but why do we recognize the milestone moments i think well as we were prepping for this run through <laughs> i think you put it pretty you summed it up pretty well they're like the mile markers in our in our walk together in this journey of faith as a community these are the moments of like uh look how far we've come and and i think most of them involve looking back there's that theme of baptism that runs throughout mm -hmm. a lot of these milestones so it's just this like i guess a way to look back at where you've been and where you're headed yeah yeah it's um it's like we've been taking a great big uh communal road trip together how many miles have we covered with each other and and i think the emphasis is is with one another these rituals are important because they like the commandments they bring order out of chaos they help sort of order our lives these um these these rituals of 
the blank, although the blanket um, liturgy is fairly new to St. Matthew's, the idea of blankets and being covered in this, these promises is not. It's a new ritual, the ritual of, of um, the altar guild placing the pall upon um, the, the coffin, upon the entry to the nave is another ritual that's important. It's, it's important for us to live out and act out these, um, these ideas uh, through, through the milestones. And, and uh, uh, Pastor, that's correct. I mean, I, I love the way you say the milestones are the markers for our, along our journey together. Um, They're important. Yeah. Like you said, we've, uh, we have a lot of rituals at St. Matthew's. We love a good celebration at St. Matthew's. Um, so we, we love these milestones and getting to celebrate together um, these milestones. Uh, you know, and, and as if we needed even another milestone, if you could come up with, an, with a milestone moment to celebrate at St. Matthew's, what would it be? Um, so I had like two, I think my more, I think my serious one, I think it would be as we move, as, as we've seen, like by the 30th, we're back at the unity service. Uh, and that's going to be the first time we're all together in, in over a year. Is, is there some way that maybe, and maybe it's not like a milestone moment is more of like a looking back, like how do we recognize the, the pandemic and the way it shaped our community and how we, <clears throat> adapted our ministry to 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 continue to be as much of a community as we could mm -hmm. during um the wilderness time of covid yeah, i think yeah you're you're right we, we we made a special kind of journey through the wilderness together we made a particular kind of journey it was a hard journey and we did track quite a few miles through that journey and some way to recognize that and I maybe I don't know maybe the best way is with the celebration when we're able to have that together yeah let's cook a whole pig let's get out that like big <laughs> grill we got let's smoke a whole pig <laughs> what about you Pastor? Like, let's, let's have a pig picking. all right so I would say okay then my serious one would be um always finding ways to recognize discipleship among parishioners we have so many parishioners who do so much and then we have some who so many who do this with do this work with no expectation or call for any kind of attention or claim. And so any, any way to recognize that discipleship is very important. Uh, the fun one would be, I think a ritual, um, just like azaleas. I, I love that 10 day period when the azaleas are in bloom and uh, they, then they go away. I would say we need a liturgy, a ritual to recognize that window for soft shell crabs in the low country. We need to yeah. have a, a ritual of the blue crab, soft shell. I like it. I really I'll like it. In that, in that same vein, um, I'm going to go ahead and say um, I would love to have some kind of ritual milestone around how many, how many St. Matthew's oyster roasts have you been able to go to? You know, and just kind of at Lutheridge, how you get like patches for um, years at Lutheridge. Maybe there's something for like having five, 10, 15, 20 um, St. Matthew's oyster roasts. It, it's like the koinonia of all koinonias. It's like the fellowship of all fellowship. All righty. Mm -hmm. So we have some milestones coming up in May that we're going to celebrate. Uh -huh. We didn't even mention the others uh, that. <laughs> Uh, the Order of St. Matthew induction on uh, May 16th. And on May 23rd, we're going to uh, have a milestone of commissioning our new prayer pod lead, the first, the first group of prayer pod leaders, <coughs> which will kick off our new prayer pod ministry. And then another milestone on May 30th is returning together for to our 10 o'clock unity service. All right. Well, get ready. Get excited. We'll be there. <laughs> All right. All right. See y'all. I'll take care. Have a good week. All right. See ya.